everybody. My name is Bernd Geck, leading the Design Services Europe at Texas Instruments Freising. In our first session, we talked on the buck converter, second session, boost converter. But very often, we do not have a very well regulated input voltage. Means we have an input voltage range. But how to deal with an output voltage if the output voltage is exactly inside the input voltage range. The buck converter won't fit. The output voltage is smaller than the input voltage. The boost converter won't fit as well because the output voltage is bigger than the input voltage. What is the solution? Very simple. The solution is a chainsaw. Let's start with the buck converter. We already learned something on this topology. We need the input capacitor we got the high side switch, storage choke, and the output capacitor. And of course, don't forget the freewheeling diode. That's our buck power stage. Let's have a look on the boost power stage. Low impedance source at the input, high side inductor, MOSFET, our rectifier, and the output capacitor. And now we start to work with our chainsaw. At first, we are cutting our buck power stage directly at the inductor. And now, we are cutting our boost power stage directly at the inductor. Now we need some glue and we are combining those two power stages simply to our buck boost converter. Very easy, very handy. That's the main part of our buck converter, followed by the boost converter. That's all we're going to do to achieve a buck boost converter. The big advantage of this topology is it can work either as a buck converter or as a boost converter. Means the output voltage can be within the input voltage. That's the main benefit of a buck boost converter. Very easy. At first, let's explain doing the buck mode, the buck function. At the buck function, the boost switch is always off. Very easy. The high side fed is closed. Current passes through the fed, through the inductor, through the rectifier to the output. When the high side fed opens, the inductor forces the current across the freewheeling diode. That's the basic buck mode inside the buck boost converter. And of course, we have also the boost mode. At the boost mode, the high side fed is always closed and the low side fed starts to switch. Means, when the low side fed closes, a current is forced across the inductor. When the low side fed opens, the current across the inductor and across the freewheeling diode 
is forced to the output. Buck converter, boost converter, add it here to the buck boost power stage. And of course, as we already know, the lossy diode can be replaced by other MOSFETs, by synchronous rectifiers, and then we are talking on a four-switch buck boost converter that can achieve highest efficiencies. So the summary is, in buck mode, high side fed is switching, low side fed is off. And in boost mode, high side fed is on and low side fed is switching. These are the two states inside the buck boost power stage. At the end of our presentation, you will see an EVM link that directly gives you more information on the buck boost topology and allows you to examine more waveforms inside this power stage. Our next presentation will be based to the inverter topology that allows you to invert a positive voltage to a negative voltage and if you got further questions feel free to visit our TI community. Thank you very much.